Now, despite the pandemic, we just wrapped up another legislative session. So what important bills were passed and how could you be affected? Joining us this morning is Senate Majority Leader Kalani English. Good morning, Senator. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Aloha. Now, first off, what were some of the challenges of this session? Well, you know, the building was in lockdown, so we had the National Guard there that were taking our temperature every day, and you had to get a wristband to get into the building. So one of the biggest challenges that we had was how do you do um, public hearings uh, when you cannot have the public come in? Uh, so the Senate, uh, we moved to, we will be implementing a lot of uh, electronic means of doing this. Uh, we're looking at video conferencing in. We're looking, we accepted written testimony um, via, via the internet, but we're looking at how do we create interactive uh, video conferencing technologies so that people can participate in the hearing process. So I think that was one of the biggest challenges. How do we do a public process without the public? And tell us about some of the key bills that were passed and how they will affect residents. Yeah, the biggest bill I think that was passed was really uh, the budget, right? Uh, getting that that finalized and through. Um, we distributed um, about 600 some odd million dollars of the CARES money, and that went to many different programs um, that would help people, including putting in facial recognition software and putting in, um, I'm sorry, thermal software at the airport, not facial recognition, thermal software at the airport uh, so that we could uh, quicker and easily read people's temperatures coming in. Um, we also passed some interesting bills, things like uh, banning coal plants in the future uh, in, by 2022. So uh, we also took up the bills that were left over from last year. We tried to pass some bills that dealt with um, uh, privacy. We tried to build, pass some bills that dealt with uh, um, infrastructure within the Hawaiian Islands. So we covered what we, we salvaged what we could from the the regular session, and we did adjourn sine die, which means that this session ended when we went out. And there, as, as because of the delay, are there any issues that will be continuing on into the next session? Yes, there, there'll be a lot of issues continuing into the next session. I mean, the regular business of the people of Hawaii, um, you know, everything from um, school hours and school times uh, you know, we're increasingly unsatisfied or dissatisfied with the Department of Education and how they're proceeding with this. Um, we're looking at things like um, how do we adjust our health uh, priorities into the future? And of course, the biggest thing is how do we reopen an economy in the time of pandemic? Now, what so if all of these? We're, we're continuing in a, in a new norm. So, if the pandemic, it seems like it's just going to keep on continuing, will there be another special session? There, there may very well be a special session of both the House and the Senate if Congress passes another stimulus package, because more than likely we would have to distribute monies and distribute them very, very quickly. Um, the Senate will come in at least two more times to confirm judges. We have 20 judges coming down from the governor, including one Supreme Court justice. Uh, but if there is um, some federal monies and the, the need for it, then both the House and the Senate would have to come back in before the year is out, to, before the next regular session uh, to distribute those monies. And Senator, because it's such a hot topic, I have to ask, do you think the August 1st out-of-state travel program, should that be delayed? Um, well, I, I, I'm Kanalua. That means I'm, I'm not... Uh, too, too enthusiastic about that particular date. I've said that very early on. Um, I think that while there's a great push that we have to get economy going, we have to get things going, um, I'm not willing to sacrifice people's health for that. And so I think that we have to um, make sure that health and the people's health are protected. Everyone in Hawaii is protected first, and then we figure out ways to restart the economy. We need both. We need to have people very healthy, and we also need a strong economy. How do you reconcile that? I'm not sure. Um, I think that it's moving it together and making sure people are healthy as we do a good economy. All right, Senate Majority Leader Kalani English, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule this morning, and we appreciate all the great information. Aloha.